Welcome to today's video. I've got a new animated intro and watermark thanks to this little project we're watching right now. I screen recorded the drawing process which took over an hour, so it sped up very fast. I forgot to record the animation part though for the intro, but this video is long enough anyway, and I'm not good at using Krita yet for animation, so there's a lot of trial and error that I go through before things click. So visually, it would be very repetitive and uninteresting. Eventually, I'll record an animation process, but for now, I'm not used to it, so you don't need to see me struggle. <laughs> well, you'll, you see me struggle a lot in this video too, but there's a lot more movement, so it's more visually interesting to watch. Some parts got really annoying because my strokes wouldn't turn out right. Using a drawing tablet off to the side sucks for that reason. I got a Surface Pro for animation school so I could draw directly on my screen, but then none of the pens I ever tried worked. And Photoshop was not responding to the pen that did kind of work, so... Those three years in school were very irritating with all that stupid stuff. My dad got me a Samsung Galaxy Tab something so I'd have some... so, so I'd have a touchscreen tablet to draw on. And I used that for most of my digital work in school and for some commissions I did, like the chili cook-off t-shirt design. It was so time consuming to have to transfer all of my files back and forth between the computer and the tablet. And scanning hundreds of papers for my pencil drawn animations was even more time consuming. But having this little half broken tablet is better than nothing because look at what I can do now. I wasn't sure how detailed I was going to get with this illustration, because I'm still not good at digital drawing like this, but I've noticed that the style you end up with just tends to come naturally when you put in enough effort to just get used to a new medium. When I was in elementary school, I wanted to draw realistically, so I studied pencil shading techniques and stuff. And then in high school, I wanted to draw my favorite anime shows, so I studied anatomy and how anime exaggerates certain body parts to get a specific look. When I got into college, I had to draw so many different styles and it was so uncomfortable. That was my least favorite part about those college classes. But that's what helped me realize that I naturally lean towards certain styles when using certain mediums. I realized I do more blendy, semi-realistic paintings and even with crochet, I'm most comfortable with the more cutesy stuffed animal type projects. So after hours of scribbling and navigating my computer using this Wacom tablet, I finally became used to it enough to have a general idea of what my style is. And this image fully shows that. Remember all those free coloring pages I gave you? I tried tracing over those with my tablet for practice. And I realized that the style of those drawings, though each of them differ from each other, are still way more different from my digital drawing style. I cannot do thin lines digitally, at least not yet. With this pressure sensitivity and these weird digital brushes, it just doesn't work the same as a pencil or a pen on paper. There's like no feedback like there is with a pencil or a pen, which is which 100% dictates how you move across the paper. And obviously there's the factor of not actually drawing on the screen, and instead having the tablet off to the side. You need some good hand-eye coordination to do that, and it takes a lot of practice and a lot of trial and error. It's a lot easier to make a mistake, especially when the line lags, so you don't know where your hand is supposed to go, in a longer stroke. That is the most common problem I had during this process, but I'm getting used to it and it's really fun. I love drawing, struggles and all. Art is the one constant in my life and I appreciate the heck out of it. Art is very calming and fulfilling even if there's hiccups here and there. I love making something out of nothing. I love bringing ideas to life, whether they're my own or someone else's. In fact, it's sometimes easier to draw for someone else. I love doing commissions. I've done a lot of tattoo illustrations in the last year, and that's been very fun. I've been contacted afterwards because they wanted to show me a photo of their new tattoo. It's so crazy to see my work on their skin forever. <laughs> I miss doing artist alleys, though. 
I loved seeing people fall in love with a plushie or a cute hat or a bag that I crocheted. You hardly see crochet artists in artist alleys, so it's not like people go to the convention thinking, I want a crocheted or knitted stuffed animal of this character, but then they get there and they see that and they're attracted to how unique it looks compared to all of the manufactured plushies in the vendor's room. It's like when you see something you didn't know you needed in your life. I love taking commissions at events too. It's so much easier to talk person to person about what they want and maybe sketch out an idea so they can see what they'll be getting. It's just so exciting and I miss that so much. But I'm working online more now and hopefully I can get a store up soon. I do have a Patreon where I offer craft boxes for you guys to follow along with the crafts that I've done in past videos. I offer some of the completed work that I've done as well. And those who subscribe to my Patreon will be mentioned in my YouTube videos on top of receiving their monthly packages in the mail. If anyone is interested in collaborating on an art project, I would be more than happy to partner up. Contact me anywhere, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube, Patreon, or even by email. All of these links are in the descriptions of every one of my YouTube videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, I encourage you to contact me. Remember, I'm posting three times a week now. I'm aiming for Tuesday and Friday to be art videos, and Sunday will be a vlog of the week where you can see lots of behind-the-scenes things. And I'm also using it to remind myself to stay more active, so... They're also a reminder for you to take care of yourself as well. Thank you for watching me struggle in today's video and listening to me ramble about random stuff. Let me know if you'd like anything specific drawn next time I do a screen recorded video. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting!